So I was disassembling this project that includes this low-cost breadboard for prototyping and in the process of trying to pry up this breadboard and reuse the breadboard I unintentionally separated this double-sided foam tape from the bottom of the breadboard but this does give a good opportunity to see how this breadboard is constructed and for some of the students in my electronics for non-EEs class who are just starting to prototype electronics on breadboards. This gives a good opportunity to help visualize how the holes are conductively connected together. So recall the connections of the breadboard. So in the center section where we normally insert ICs and resistors and other leaded components, we have these groups of five holes in each row. And each group of five holes is connected together conductively and then we have columns along the edge of the breadboard and the holes along each column are connected together and when we take a look at the back of the breadboard with this foam tape removed we should be able to see these connections and indeed if I flip the breadboard over we do see these connections so on the back side of the breadboard you can see the conductors that connect the holes along each row. And then you can see the break in the conductors that separate the rows on either side of this valley. You can also see the long connections, long conductors along each column that connect all the column holes together. And so now I'll remove the conductor along one of these rows and we can get a good look at that conductor and the contacts. So with this strip removed you can actually see the holes through the breadboard to the top of the breadboard. That's where you insert component leads. And you can see the contacts on this strip and how these contacts accept leads from components. So next I'll pull out the strip along one of these columns. And so you can see how this strip as well is made up of groups of five contacts but these groups are connected together you can see the the strip of metal that connects these two groups together and the rest of the groups along the column so the base of this breadboard is just this double-sided foam tape there isn't any other plastic cover or any other base and you can see this on a new breadboard here's a new breadboard this is just double-sided tape with a backing that you can peel off to stick this down to a, a base or an enclosure. So when you separate the double-sided tape from the breadboard, you expose the conductors. So finishing up, if you haven't worked much with breadboards now that you've seen this construction, this should give you some insight into how it works and how to use the whole locations to construct prototype circuits.